Stamping Up Demonstrator in Southern Tasmania. It's great to see you all here today. See a few people popping on. Thanks for uh, uh, setting your, your watch by me today. I'm just going to check my volume and my iPad and make sure. Cool, we're all ready to go. Um, uh, so much to show you today. It's so exciting. Um, as of yesterday, we have our new um, mini catalogue live and we have celebration, which I have to say is one of my favourite times of year. Absolutely love celebration. We have two celebrations. We're very spoiled these days. We have two celebrations, um, one early in the year with the uh, with the uh, mini catalogue that goes from January to June and then one in later in the year which goes with the um, July to December mini catalogue. Um, so this uh, celebration goes um, for July and August and there are just so many freebies and so many great deals that um, I just wanted to share some of those with you today. We will get crafting shortly, but before we do so, I just wanted to, now I can actually show you inside the catalogue. Uh, I just wanted to show you the celebration um, brochure and uh, some of the things that you can earn um, when you buy during July and August. Um, okay, so wow, here we get. So most of my customers will have their celebration and mini catalogues now, so um, please pop in and have a look and, and start that wish list going. Um, what we're going to be using today is the Hippest Hippo stamp set, which is this little cutie here. So that's free with a $90 Australian purchase and it has matching dies, which is so awesome. Uh, so no fussy cutting and you've got lots of extra little comic bits as well, little little snorkel and um, um, uh, a swimming mask there, some glasses, a party hat, little umbrella, little tub here. You can put one of them in a tub. So, yeah, there's some really lovely little extras to our hippest hippos over there so that's really good so you can get the dies with a another $90 order so if you order 180 obviously you can buy both the stamp set and the dies and I can't quite get the whole page in the paper so there we go so to endless opportunities with that one and as I say we're going to be using those little guys today uh, we have the rings of nature designer series paper which is really nice I actually have seen a couple of packets of this paper and um, yeah from Initially thinking it was a bit um, northern hemisphere, I'm actually quite liking it now. The colours are absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's, again, free with a $90 purchase. Um, these cards, these ones here, these pool party and soft sea foam um, note cards and envelopes are absolutely lovely. The patterns are very reminiscent of the Splendid Day bundle. And I've got a card here that I've actually made with those cards. So I'll show you. And we did actually use one. Uh, last week as well in my live. This is Stylish Sketches. I haven't seen this one yet and I don't plan on getting it. Um, it's not really my style but I'm sure it will uh, appeal to many people. A um, little fox there and some, some geese and that again is free with a $90 purchase. Um, this paper here that's really nice, silver and gold designer series paper. It's six by six. We're going to be using that today. So um, yeah, that's really, really effective and again, free with a $90 purchase. I'm going to be using this stamp set here, this um, sentiment stamp set, Amazing Phrases. It's a really fun sort of contemporary sort of font that they've used there and it's got some really nice, you can use that as I have with sort of younger people cards and that's free with a $180 purchase. And I've just ordered this one, so we were interested to see this really cute little one here with caravans and Christmas trees and a little dog there as well. So it's actually um, free with a $180 purchase, but it does correspond to the Trees for Sale, Trees for Sale stamp set in the current uh, mini catalogue. So I have actually ordered that as well, so we'll see how they go together. But I think looking at some of these little cards, you could probably just sort of quite happily make a caravan out of the dies without actually having the stamp set. So that's really good as well if you've got some grey nomads in your in your life or you are one yourself. And this little cute one here that we used last week with the um, Wonderful World stamp set and designer series paper, that's lovely. I absolutely adore this paper. I've got another one on order with the latest um, 
with the latest order that I've popped in. So we'll um, have a couple of double ups there. But it's great with celebration. You can get as many of them as you as you want. Um, during celebration, you also get the host. If you want to host a workshop, you can either host that in person if you live in southern Tasmania or we can do an online one if you've got a group of friends that like to um, shop and um, get together online through Facebook or whatever, we can do a, a party like that. And so you will actually get, if you um, if you host a party and you get orders over $500, you will get the free host set, which is this really nice, perfect pomegranate stamp set. Really nice. And I've got that coming in my current order as well. You can tell my current order was quite a biggie. And join. So this is the really exciting part of celebration, as part from getting all those freebies, joining Stamping Up. So if you were thinking of joining Stamping Up, look, honestly, even if you have a quite considerable um, uh, wish list that you'd like to knock off cheaper that get a discount as a demonstrator you get a start at a 20 percent discount um, joining is a, is what i will tell all my customers uh, if you have a big wish list definitely join up and get it knocked off cheaper um, then you know basically stamping up doesn't mind if you then drop back you know there's no penalties there's no issues about that as well if you're just starting out you can stock up your craft room and then drop back to a customer it's no problems at all um, but during celebration we have this lovely freebie that's attached to your um, to your starter kit you get this for free and I've got mine here I can show you um, it's a planner with some little um, notebooks and a stamp set that you can use in the planner. So if you're a planner type person or you know somebody who is and you want to give it to them as a gift, this would be absolutely wonderful. I've got mine here and I've set it all up. I might move my little hippos away for the second. I just really wanted to show you this. Um, I was a bit meh because I'm not really a planner type person, but I thought oh, I better get it and have a look if I'm going to be recommending it to people. It's quite large. It's probably what? It's got to be what, nine inches high um, and probably uh, eight inches wide. It's um, it's a lovely pattern on the outside. It's a good quality sort of um, leather look. I wouldn't pretend that it's leather, but it's, it's really, really nice. I might take my camera up just a wee bit so you can get the whole effect in there that's better I'll move it back down again when we're crafting yep so it's a really lovely patterns on it some sort of beautiful stamping up colors and floral designs lovely sort of meta um, magnet clasp and I've got mine sort of partly set up you can get six months worth of these little tabs in um, comfortably so and they actually give you 18 months worth in the pack so you've basically got enough to keep you going as a planner diary for 18 months but I've started with six months in there and each month you get a monthly focus a calendar sort of your weekly priorities you can sort of put your um, what you're up to during the week in there which is obviously what planners are all about and then at the end there's some just general notes and um, shopping lists and things like that that you can pop in there uh, and you can review your month and see how you went. Um, I'm actually not going to use this for my stamping up business, which would it would be perfect if you were just starting out to plan your stamping up business with this planner. I'm on the continual um, quest to lose weight, as I think a lot of us are. Um, so I'm actually going to use this to track my progress and um, notes, and you know, track my. Um, hopeful weight loss and and things like that as I go through the next six months so I'm not going to use it for my business but I will definitely use it in my uh, personal life to um, to track that but it's a lovely lovely um, thing nice quality and definitely worth as I say even just as a gift to somebody who's a planner type person you also get three notebooks and they are really really cute um, there's one that's blank, it's got nothing in the sheet, so that'd be good for um, just uh, free style stuff. There's one here that's got dots, and I did wonder about that, but that's really handy if you're actually designing um, cards or layouts or, or um, things like that to have the dots. You can do scaled up versions or scaled down versions of that, so that's what I'll use that for. And one that's got just your standard lined um, marks, so you've got three of those in the kit. 
And last but not least, you've got the making plans stamp set. So keep in mind, this is all free when you join during celebration. So um, the, the stamp set's perfect to use in conjunction with the planner. It has lots of things to do, wish lists, notes. You can just use it to, to um, personalise that planner a wee bit um, as you go through the year. But it would be great with any, you know, if anyone uses a different planner as well, or, um, you know, maybe on cards. We'll see. We'll see how we go. But anyway, so that's what you get free in addition to your wonderful, already wonderful joining offer with Stamping Up during celebration. Uh, and I actually bought this and um, unfortunately you now, once celebration starts, you can't buy it on its own. So it's exclusive for um, for uh, demo demonstrators who join. Um, but um, the value of that when I bought it, they put a value of $80 on it. So that's basically the the, um, the value you're getting for free on top of your, as I say, on top of your starter kit. And the starter kit offer, if, for those who don't know, you can pick $235 worth of product uh, and pay only $169. So it can be product of your choice. It doesn't have to be a specific starter kit. Um, uh, but yeah, $235 worth of product pay 169 and you get free delivery which is also pretty awesome okay most of my customers will have their um, copies of this now hopefully this is the mini catalog which we're going to be using in the next few months so it's got our christmas um, designs in there i won't go through that with you now because uh, we need to get some crafting done so and also your celebration catalogue you should have that as well if you're not a customer and you would like to grab a copy of these i am asking for a contribution of five dollars towards postage um, so if you wanted to uh, let me know you can reach out via my facebook page or via email on the um, youtube channel i have my email address five dollars contribution towards the postage but i will also send you a ten dollar product voucher off your first order from the catalogue so um, if you've got something in mind I'll give you ten dollars off so you'll actually be five dollars up on the deal um, if you pay for the postage on your mini catalogue it's just that it costs five dollars I'm not making any profit on that it does cost five dollars fifty I think actually five dollars fifty to send so I'm asking for a contribution of five dollars towards postage um, and as I say Get your first order you will get ten dollars off um, if you do it through me that's a, a discount from me not from stamping up so you have to give me a ring or send me a message to put that to put that order in and claim um, the the um, discount uh, one last thing I promise that's the last thing and then we'll start cr um, crafting is my fun fold class for July um, this one is now on, uh, has in release, so I'm taking orders for this one now. Three cards in the fun fold class as usual. We've got a cute um, masculine uh, double Z fold card there um, that uses the He's the Man designer series paper, which is really, really nice and um, sort of lovely for lots of masculine type cards. So we've got this one, it's a double Z as you can see. Um, so that'll be perfect with uh, Father's Day coming up in September in Australia. So I know the um, American viewers have already had their Father's Day for this year. So that's the first one. The second one is a reverse gate fold card that uses the Splendid Day bundle. You can see it's shining like absolute crazy there. The designer series paper is beautiful. Um, so yeah, we've got, you can make this one and it will include this really nice gold trinket as well so you get everything to make that one and last but not least is use the um, pretty prints designer series paper in this little um, sort of block design as well so we've got this cute little um, uh, sort of grass from the quiet meadows dies I think that one's from but yeah so that one's nice as well so uh, that's the three cards for July uh, it's $25 for the class, including the card kits, um, video and postage. Uh, all you need to basically add for my fun fold cards is your sentiments and adhesives. So um, basically you get everything else, um, all your embellishments and um, cardstock and sentiment boxes and everything. Um, if you are doing them on a regular, my classes on a regular basis, I really suggest that you join my Funfold VIP club. Um, you pay for five classes 
um, you get 10% off those five classes and you get the sixth class free. So basically 112.50 gets you, I suppose if you look at it from start to finish, gets you six classes for 112.50, which is a much better deal if I say so myself, but $25 on a month by month basis if you do not sign up to the VIP club. Okay. I think that is all I wanted to show you. Thank you for being so um, tolerant there as I went through all that and hopefully there's something there that interests you. Let's get crafting. Um, this is a new fold for me. Um, it's I think it, I saw it called a standing gate fold, which is a, I suppose it does stand and it is a gate fold, so that makes sense. But um, yeah, it's quite an interesting fold. I've really enjoyed it. I've been playing with it a bit this morning with some Christmas um, ideas as well. Um, this one, we're using our cute little hippo ballerina. So, um, and I've done it in pinks and I'm using that really nice um, paper from the celebration as well. So there's actually one, two, three, four celebration freebies used in this card. So, um, so we'll, we'll have a look at each of those as we as we bring them out. So this is the amazing phrases, the one we looked at in the catalog. So this is what I'm using for the um, sentiments. We've got the hay up there, and then there's a you are in here somewhere. You are, you are, and then amazing there as well. So that's what we're using on this one. And here is our cute little hippos. So we're going to use our little ballerina. But there's this little guy here who's quite cute, sort of um, winking at us with a flower and just this little guy here. So you, as I say, and with the dyes, you can pop them in all sorts of um, different um, situations. So here's my kit. I've already cut it. Um, don't worry too much about the measurements. I will pop this one up on my um, website and put a link to the on the video um, probably next week. It'll be there. Don't, I don't usually get to them straight away. Um, uh, this afternoon I'm on um, dad sitting, um, dad sitting duties. It makes him sound like a like a baby, but uh, we all take turns in sitting with my father while mum gets a bit of a break. So I'm on dad sitting duties this afternoon. So I won't get it on this afternoon. Okay, but I can say you do have. This is the sort of mechanism here. I should be looking at my chat. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, we'll close that. Um, okay, cool. So I'll just keep um, working through. I, I might not get to the. Um, I may not get to the uh, comments while I'm crafting, but I will come back to them after. You can be assured of that. So you've got have a a sort of piece of basic white cardstock. From memory, this one is um, five and a half. Yes, five and a half by seven and a quarter. And I've just um, scored it one and three eighths and two and a half in from both ends. So one and three eighths, two and a half, give it a flip, one and three eighths and two and a half. And that gives us that sort of mechanism there. And when you fold them over, they match, they touch pretty well nicely in the middle there, which is what you're, you're actually after. I then have a, a five and a half by four and an eighth piece again of basic white thick cardstock and that forms the back panel of this card. So it's actually two, the card base itself is actually two um, pieces of cardstock together. Um, and then we've got basically then it's just a matter of decorating so we'll get out our other bits. So what I can suggest if you want to put, I'll just get some of these out, not all of them. If you want to put a sentiment on the inside of this card, I suggest you do so before you go very far with your decorating. Because once it's all together, and I'll show you here, once it's all together, that front panel is, is a wee bit difficult to get to completely you can see it's sort of you just sort of you're not seeing it all and it's really hard oh you could suppose you could flatten it out like that and do it um hadn't thought about that you can flatten it out and do it but it's probably easier again to pop it in there before you even start um, the process but let's get started so I'm putting my um, white my basic white with blushing bride and have two inch wide pieces of blushing bride here that are going to go either side of the um, the mechanism, you can see they sort of peek out at the back there, just to give the back of the card a wee bit of interest. 
and I will pop those on first. You could, I suppose, if you wanted to have a whole lot of cardstock, you could cut a piece that's the whole ew, new 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 um new glue just came blurting out. Um, you could put like a whole sheet of um, blushing bride there, but of course you're not going to see it, so some would call it a wee bit of a waste. Got to beware of your new glue because it always wants to come out in a hurry to say hello. So I'm just going to pop one strip of Blushing Bride down the right hand side and another one down the left hand side. And we're just using, it's just a very, it's only probably an eighth of an inch smaller so the gap left, right and top is only really skinny. There we are. Then we'll bring in our cute paper. So this is the gold and silver paper that's a celebration freebie with um with a $90 purchase. And I just think it goes so nicely with the white and the pink of the blushing bride. This would be a kid's card, I suppose. I don't make very many children's cards. I don't have any children in my life at the moment. Lots of teenagers. Lots of twenties. Oh, 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 oh. Lots of 20 a year olds or 20 plus. Lots of grown ups, but not very many children. We're in that middle phase in the family. Hopefully, one day there'll be some grandchildren, but we're not there yet. There we go. Okay, so we've got either side of that. Oh, I should bring that down so we're a bit, wee bit closer again. Forgive the jolt. There might be a wee bit of a jolt as I bring the camera down. There we are. You're a bit closer now. You can actually see what I'm doing rather than need your uh, binoculars. Okay, so that's, we've got our little bits of pink and our designer series paper on either side. What I suggest now is to actually bring in this central panel and we're going to stick it in the centre there. Oops, excuse me. And we're just going to stick it to the back panel of that that sort of door mechanism. This is a wee bit interesting because you have to line it up. Um, you have to sort of like try and line it up central and straight while also juggling the um, the gate part of it. So first of all, thankfully our glue lets us wiggle a bit. So I'm going to set it up straight first and then line it up by popping it popping it down on my table and making sure they're both lined up top and bottom there so yeah might not be exactly central but I don't think you're going to notice too much so there we are that's in there like that and this makes it a really nice sort of pop-up card as well which is really cute for for young ones it gets a bit of interest happening okay so we've got that mostly done so now what we're going to do is bring back in some blushing bride so this one is two and a half i think yep two and a half by uh, five and what's uh five and a half five and three eighths and that's going to sit there in the center and it's got a corresponding piece of that pretty designer series paper which is going to sit on top so it gives it sort of the um, uninterrupted look all the way across the card so I will pop that on first. So quiet here at the moment. My youngest son is staying away from home and he's been away for about a week, well, maybe two now. And the middle the middle week, like the weekend in the middle, he actually caught COVID. So He's off um, staying where he was staying but in isolation for the week. So it hasn't been the, the, the week away from home that he anticipated because he's had to be in isolation. But I suppose he's in isolation with his girlfriend. So there could be worse ways to be isolated, I suppose. But, yeah, so they're stuck together in the house. My husband thought it'd probably last a week. I gave them 10 days until they got annoyed with each other. But, um but uh, they're going okay, they're going okay. Okay, so I've actually just added glue to half of this um, layered panel here and I've just glued it 
to one side of the the gate so you can see that there so no glue on the back of there because you don't want to glue it all completely closed just glue it to the one side to the left hand side and that sort of gives the card that sort of blocky sort of 3d effect as it sort of pops open like that and folds flat so when it folds flat it looks like again it just looks like an uninterrupted um, sort of panel right well slightly interrupted but like the same sort of thing all the way across and then it pops open like that and then actually pops open even more it pops open like that okay so that's that's the fundamentals of the card so I mean once you've got that together you could go any way you wanted as far as uh, as far as decorating is concerned you could do whatever you want I've got one that I made with the Christmas tree that I will hold secret for a wee while because that's going to be for a very special class coming up so that's basically the mechanism and you can just go mad from from now on just to decorate it as you want but we're going to use our cute little hippos to make ours so here they are the hippest hippos they are pretty cool I'll make sure I'm all straight there um pretty pretty nice and we're just going to use our little ballerina here since we've gone the pink and silver theme um, it's got some really cute little sentiments as well. You can see I haven't even opened it. Um, you're always on point, which would be good to go with our little hippo here. You're so hip. Or, ah, oh, you really are the best. So that's sort of like a, a thank you thing. And love you a ton, which is, I suppose, um, fat shaming the hippos in a way. But anyway, so, yeah, that's they're quite large animals, so it's probably quite appropriate. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stamp our little cute ballerina here. Uh, I'll grab my black ink, which I popped away. And I'm going to oh, quickly just colour selected pieces of our little hippo with some blends. So there she is. She stamps really well. She's just a plain pencil line image so perfect for coloring in look and it would be perfect for children to color in if you've got children or grandchildren in your life who you're trying to keep occupied um, on any sort of day it would be perfect to um, to do so um, I'm going to use dark gray granite I think is what I used yes I'll check anyway but I think it's dark gray granite and I'm going to use there is no um, pink, there is no Blushing Bride blend, so I'm going to use, uh, I think, dark, for dark Flirty Flamingo instead. I think that's all I want. It's just the closest pink, like true pink, that I could find. So let's give her some colour. So this is my grey granite. Let's just make sure it is the one I've used. Yep. Okay, and I'm just going to colour her parts, the sort of... The, the body, I suppose you'd call that, but not her belly or her nose. I'm leaving those white. So just like the easiest colouring in there is, just stay within the lines if you can. As I say, a lovely simple image. Doesn't require too much. Skill, thankfully, because I've never been much of a colourer. So I'm just going to colour her little legs down to her ballerina shoes. I'm assuming that end bit would be her, her what are they called? slippers, ballerina shoes um, you can tell I've got boys and none of them were particularly ballerina like so um, yes so whatever ballerina shoes are called somebody will tell me I know as soon as they say it I'll know it but uh, it's just jumped out of my mind now okay so I've got my dark petal pink and I'm going to give her I'm oh, not petal pink her dark flirty flamingo I'm going to color her tutu see I did know that part her tutu in dark petal pink and 
of course she's got matching shoes. Has <laughs> somebody told me what ballet shoes are called? Point shoes. Thank you, Deb. She's got pink point shoes on. Um, and as all stylish ballerina, hippo, ballerina hippos would have, I'm painting her little fingernails and I'm just going to use the light petal pink because, you know, she'd have to be coordinated with her nails and her um, ballet outfit. And there she is. I'll just let that see if it'll focus on her a wee bit. Now, my son has told me, there you go, that's focused on her, isn't she? Just to make you smile, doesn't she? My son has t explained to me all about um, all about lighting and cameras and bit rates. And um, I said to him, I said, I'm having trouble with it focusing. And he said, well, that's because it's too dark. And I said, but, you know, it compensates for the dark. And he says, yes, it does. But if it's too dark, it compensates for the light. But my camera, we're doing, but it has trouble focusing sort of it um, sort of compensates by not focusing properly so there you go that's the technical don't you love younger people with their technical parts this is the hippo dies so I'm actually going to cut her out with a die she's not a bad image as far as cutting out you could probably you could probably um uh, just fussy cut her but since I've got the dies we'll do that as well just going to bring that out pop her in there now I'm being quite gender specific here but I'm sure she could be a could she be a, a boy hippo doing well maybe not with a tutu but anyway Anyway, the ballet dancer will make that gender neutral and say she's a ballet dancer. He's, they, they are a ballet dancer. Now, I'm going, I might have to use a piece of tape to keep that on. We'll see how we go. Hopefully I didn't lose the connection with you then. Somebody tried to video chat me at the same time. I have a feeling something's happening in dad watch land. I am going to have to use a piece of tape. Um, yeah, so I might have to pop on and see what's happening there in a second. Once we finish, just use a piece of tape. Pop that on there. Okay, so there she is. She's all cut out. Okay, so let's have a see what we've got here. So I've got a Blushing Bride, make sure that's all straight, Blushing Bride um, scalloped, contoured, contour scalloped um, rectangle there, and that's going to sit on the front. I've got a, pair, a panel of basic white that I've cut so it just fits inside the stitches of that um, little rectangle there so that's going to sit on top like that uh, and I've got a couple of sentiment boxes which we'll come back to in a moment now my original design when I looked at it I realized I've gone too far down it looks a bit bottom heavy so I'm going to actually set this one because I basically was making it as I, up as I went I didn't realize that I was going to have to put that sentiment down the bottom so I want to put that sentiment down the bottom but push everything up a wee bit so that it's you know, it doesn't uh, look lopsided. And I've got our little hippo lady there and I've got another sentiment box there. These are stylish shapes sentiment boxes from the new stitched, um, stitched range that we have. So that's what I'm using there. And I'm going to pop the hay directly on there. So that's basically what we're headed for um, there. 
with some um, bling happening as well. So I'm going to move that away. I'll grab the sentiments that I want to use. And again, we're going to use a celebration freebie. This is the amazing phrases that I mentioned before. Lots of really nice sort of, as I say, sort of light-hearted sentiments. So, you know, we don't always have to be um, sort of serious. We can go a little bit cute sometimes. I've done them in black here and I didn't hate it but I wondered whether I should use pink but I might stick with the black because I think it makes it sit out stand out pretty well. So I'm going to use my hay and get my black ink again. I'm just going to pop the hay straight onto this this panel here and I've covered over my card so I can't see where I put it. Okay so just up here Yep, nice and blocky and complete. I'm going to pop that in the top-ish right-hand corner. So, hey, I don't have to bring that any closer. You can definitely see that. And then I will glue that to our little pink scalloped rectangle. Then I want to bring in our little hippo lady and I'm going to pop her on dimensionals. Just so it looks like she's dancing away on the card. That was a bad position. There we are. So I'll pop her down to the sort of left-hand bottom corner there, just under the hay there. Now, I've got two of these. So I'm, one of them I'm going to put you are, and that that. That box that box doesn't have a cut like that. It does end. It does end with the banner at both ends. It's just I had a, a scrap of paper that had that weird end, and I knew that I wanted to trim that down anyway. So I think it. I didn't think it mattered too much that I used a, a scrap of cardstock that wasn't particularly big enough because I'm only going to use the left hand or right hand end of this one anyway. So you are. There we are. And amazing, beautiful, big, amazing here we've got. An amazing, amazing, you could say. And I'm using the big stylish shape for that one, big banner. And we'll pop that there. There we go. So we've got hay up there and you are amazing, which we'll pop on as well. So I'm going to put our little hippo on now. So she's just going to, as I say, pop onto that front panel, the one that sort of pops up and towards us when the card's on display. And slightly higher than I did with the original. So there's a lot happening down below. That's probably high enough. Then I've got you are, so as I say, I'm going to trim that end off, so I don't want that like that. Pop that just in and under her a wee bit, so it sort of comes out to the right hand side. And because these are slightly, slightly longer, they're going to sort of pop out and give a little bit of a 3D effect as well, which is nice. I like things that sort of sort of hang in midair like this. So, hey, you are. And our amazing is going to go same sort of thing just below her. So and it just looks like her little foot is sitting on that sentiment box a bit. So that's quite cute. And I'm going to glue that as well. So pop that there, making sure that the right hand end of these sentiment boxes doesn't go too far over the edge of the card because you, of course you want to be able to fit it in your envelope, which might be tricky. 
if you've got too much hanging over the edge. Okay, so there we are. Hey, you are amazing. And we're just going to pretty that up with some other pieces, those little extra pieces from the die set that are just so nice to add extra little details. We've got some little love hearts and some little flowers which I've cut in um, Blushing Bride. And I'm just going to add those. So I'm going to add the hearts up here. Just put a little bit of glue. They're quite fine, so I find it easier to put the glue on first and then bring them in once I know what position I want them in. Just put my the tacky end of my take my tick pick tool and I can position those. If they decide to stick. Now I knew I'd oh here's one. I've got one of my hearts out, a little middle medium size heart there. You've got to go. And a tiny weeny one can go here. There we are. So they just add those little details, which are so cute. And then there's a couple of little flowers. I'm going to pop those down in this little gap down here. So one of them there and one just up here. Isn't that cute that's really nice you could do that on the normal card front you know obviously you could just do it on a normal card that's not necessarily the the pop out style and to finish it off we need some bling what little girl doesn't like bling and we're going to pop some bling so we've got, got my basic rhinestone gems here I'll pop a couple of them in the center of those two little uh, flowers near you. There we are. And another one just in the sort of little on the right lobe of this little heart. That's what I thought was cute. And then another couple, some bigger ones, just to make it up to five. Just another couple up here. Got to have odd numbers of gems, of course, just for luck. Okay, so that is decorated. I hope you like that one. That's really nice. There's a lot happening with that card, but as I say, I did really want to show you what one, two, three, four of the celebration freebies that go towards making that card. So it sits flat like this in the envelope, looks pretty normal, and then sitting up with that mechanism behind the scenes gives it that bit of a wow factor. Um, for our cute little budding um, ballerina. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so that is, oh, I've missed a panel there, but anyway, um, that is the card for today. Hopefully you like those. Thanks for sitting through the uh, business part of my um, presentation at the beginning. That's a bit longer than I normally do. I don't won't do that every time, I promise. Um, but just so there's some, there's just so much happening at the moment. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't let you know. So anyway, there we are. Celebration on at the moment um, from the 1st of July, that was yesterday, through to the 31st of August. And um, so many things, as I mentioned. If you would like to get hold of the mag of the um, catalogue, as I say, um, $5 contribution towards postage, but you do get a $10 product credit. Um, as a result of that so please uh, reach out if you haven't got a demonstrator please or if you do have a demonstrator please reach out to them and grab a catalogue because you really don't want to miss these cute little guys here so thanks for joining me I'll have to ring my sister now and see what's happening in um, in dad land um, but uh, have a great weekend and um, I will chat to you all again during the week